just on that, because we're obviously seeing those yield differentials continue to widen in terms of where the, the US is even potentially looking at because we don't know what the Fed, how aggressive they're going to get. But do you think it's going to be a case of having to wait until Kuroda-san's term expires before we see some kind of tightening of the policy settings in Japan? Because not only is it the fact that he doesn't want to even increase the ban on the 10-year yield curve. He's basically suggesting it's helping CapEx, that it's the, the best way to transmit monetary policy. So do you think that they might wait a little bit longer than even some are believing in terms of widening just, just the yield, the, the, the ban on that 10-year yield curve control, let alone engaging in any kind of tightening? I think the markets will have a little bit to say about it. The question is what kind of market pressure will be exerted uh, on that policy and will they be forced mm -hmm. to bend sooner rather than later. Um, one of the things that we think argues in favor of uh, uh, a change in policy probably sooner than uh, Kuroda would like is the fact that uh, it is the one major central bank which still has stated the belief that inflation is transitory. And so... We saw the Fed, U.S. Central Bank, wedded to that view through last fall and then began to concede that, um, you know, it's more than transitory. And we have the view that um, these inflation forces, uh, while confusing because of the unique character of the global economy post-pandemic, um, this stage uh, with all of the supply chain disruptions, uh, very difficult to ferret out the short-term cyclical effects on inflation versus the long-term secular effects. But we have the view that coincidence with uh, this uh, pandemic and uh, the return to more normal economic activity, even though it's taken a long, long time, um, there's some secular forces at work, which are global. Uh, they're not unique to the U.S. They're not unique to Europe. Uh, Japan um, is not insulated from them. And as a consequence, uh, there are a number of factors that are long-term in nature uh, that are starting to manifest themselves that uh, will yield higher price inflation in, in virtually every economy around the world, much higher than what we got used to post-GFC. Japan, no Brad, exception. 